Yesterday, we have seen that uh, consciousness has at least uh, two layers, and the lower layer is store consciousness. And there are good, wholesome seeds down here, and uh, among them, the seed of mindfulness, the seed of concentration, the seed of insight, the seed of understanding, love, non-violent, uh, joy, happiness, and so on. So the practice of the tenth exercise is to help, is to invite these wholesome seeds to manifest. The seed of mindfulness, the seed of concentration, the seed of insight, the seed of understanding, love, compassion. There are many good seeds in us. And if we want to be happy, we should learn the art of happiness, watering the good seeds in us. When we come to a retreat like this, we have a chance to water the good seeds. Everything we hear, we see, have the uh, the function to water the good seeds in us, and that is to gladden our mind, to make the landscape of our mind beautiful. So the first aspect of the practice is to give these beautiful seeds a chance to manifest. If they manifest on the upper of our level of our consciousness, we are happy, we are joyful. So a good practitioner knows how to water the wholesome seeds in him or in her every day. She has to select. Because when you, when you read a magazine, an article magazine, that article may contain a lot of uh, anger, or frustration, or fear. And while you are reading that uh, article, you water the unwholesome seed. They come up and you suffer. So you have to be selective in watering. You try to read only, you try to view only the things that water the good seeds in you. And this we can discuss with our children and students, because many of us are intoxicating ourselves every day by unmindful consumption. Even conversation can be very toxic. The other person may talk to us for one hour, and what she says is full of anger and fear and despair. And if we listen like that, we water those unwholesome seeds in us, and we get sick. And if you are a psychotherapist, protect yourself. Because every day you listen to histories of stories of suffering, you have to establish a balance. You have to go to the Sangha, you have to, uh, to water the good seeds in you, otherwise you cannot continue for a long time. So the good practitioner knows how to water the good seeds and uh, give them a chance to manifest up here on the level of mind consciousness. And she's happy, she's uh, pleasant, and her partner will enjoy that. And the practitioner also knows how to help the other person to do the same. Darling, if you care, you really care for me, don't water the negative seed in me. 
you know that I have the seed of anger, fear, jealousy, and so on. And if you water these seeds, I will be, I will suffer. And if I suffer, you have to suffer with me. <laughs> so darling, I promised that I will not water these negative seeds in me. And you have to make the same commitment. You do not water these uh, unwholesome seeds in you. And I make the commitment not to water them in, in you. And you make the commitment not to water this unwholesome seed in me. This is a, a peace uh, treaty. You sign with your partner. And the first step of the practice is called the practice of uh, selective watering or the practice of true diligence is not to give the negative seeds down here a chance. Allow them to sleep quietly down there. If you do love me, please don't water this seeds in me. And I promise that I will not water this unwholesome seeds in you. And the second aspect of the practice is that if by chance, if it happens that one negative seeds is water and manifests here as a mental formation, you should know how to help that to go back to its place of origin as quickly as possible. You don't try to suppress. There are many ways. The first, first, the first way is to invite the seed of mindfulness to come to recognize, embrace. And after a few minutes, it will lose some strength and we go back to the original place here. That is uh, the first uh, method, helping that seed to go back as quickly as possible by the way of recognizing and embracing. This we have talked about yesterday already. The second way is to invite the opposite seed in here to come up. Because you have a seat of anger, of violence, but you also have a seat of uh, tenderness, kindness. And when the seat of tenderness and kindness and compassion is invited to come up, their seat will withdraw by itself. It's like uh, a television set with several uh, channels and up to you to choose. Channel one or channel two. Hell or paradise, up to you to choose. Just push on a button. So the first aspect is that uh, the negative sit down here, don't give them a chance in yourself and in the other person. And the second aspect is that if uh, one of them happen to manifest here, try to help it to go back as soon as possible. Because the longer it is up here, the bigger it will grow down here at the grassroots level. who are very angry. But 10 years ago, they were not angry like that. Because the seed of anger in him has been watered every day by himself and by his friends. So that is why not to water the negative seed is a practice. 
and we have to agree with our partner. Our partner may be our father, our mother, our son, our daughter, our friend. And then the third aspect of the practice is uh, to recognize the good seeds in you and invite them as uh, um, frequently as possible. Because their presence in the level of uh, mind consciousness will bring you joy, happiness, for gladdening our mind. The tenth And when a good seed has manifest up here, we can, we may like to keep it up there as long as possible. May the joy last, que la joie demeure. It's like when you have a a good friend visiting, you like to keep him or her longer with you. The same thing is true with this. If a feeling of joy, feeling of happiness, a feeling of compassion has manifest, try to keep that feeling up there as long as you can. Because uh, the longer they, 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 they remain here, the bigger they will grow down there. At the grassroots level, the good seed will continue to grow. It's like uh, when you come to a retreat of uh, one week, uh, some of the good seeds are water, and if we, uh, we have uh, the retreat extended to two weeks, and then the good seeds will, uh, will grow bigger. So these are four uh, levels or four aspects of the practice. The negative seed don't give them a chance in me and in you. If they have already a chance to manifest, help them to go home as quickly as possible. The good seed give them a plenty of chance to manifest. And when they have manifest, keep them up there as long as possible. And that is uh, what we call in Plum Village the practice of selective watering. And you can change the situation very quickly. Even one hour of practice can already change the situation. <laughs>